Hi, I'm Shauna Fishhaber with VA Disability Group. Today we'll be discussing the additional state benefits available to North Dakota veterans who have a 100% rating with the VA, as well as a few other benefits veterans should be aware of. We understand that navigating all the available options can be overwhelming, and we hope this information will help simplify the process and point you in the right direction to take advantage of these benefits. Visit our website where we will have more detailed information regarding eligibility and application processes. We'll have that link in the description box below. North Dakota has one state veterans home located in Lisbon. Eligibility is based on clinical need and setting availability. Each state establishes its own eligibility and admission criteria for its homes. A spouse or the surviving spouse of an eligible veteran may also be eligible. We recommend that you talk with the VA social worker near you about eligibility requirements and to create a payment plan. North Dakota has one national cemetery and two state cemeteries. National burial benefits include a grave site in any of the VA national cemeteries with available space, opening and closing of the grave, perpetual care, a government headstone, marker or medallion, a burial flag, and a presidential memorial certificate at no cost to the family. Burial benefits are available for spouses and dependents as well. Keep in mind that state cemeteries eligibility is similar to national cemeteries, but may include residency requirements. National Guard and reserve pay for federally mobilized service members is tax-free. Beginning in the 2023 tax year, active duty pay for North Dakota residents is tax-free. The Thrift Savings Plan does not withhold taxes for state or local income tax, but it is reported annually on IRS Form 1099-R. Military retired pay is not taxed in North Dakota. Military disability retirement pay received as a pension, annuity, or similar allowance for personal injury or sickness resulting from active service in the armed forces should not be included in taxable income. Some of the payments which are considered disability benefits include disability compensation and pension payments for disabilities paid to veterans or their families, grants for homes designed for wheelchair living, grants for motor vehicles for veterans who lost their sight or the use of limbs, or benefits under a dependent care assistance program. DIC payments are tax-free and SBP, RCSBP, and RSFPP annuities are not taxable in North Dakota. The Veterans Aid Fund is to be used solely for the purpose of making loans to veterans or their widow or a widower. To qualify, the applicant is required to be either a peacetime or wartime veteran or a current or former National Guard member. An unmarried surviving spouse of a qualified veteran may also apply. Another requirement is that the applicant must have been a resident of North Dakota for at least one year and have the financial ability to make payments. The maximum loan amount is $5,000 and the interest rate is 8% per annum. The term limit can be for six months up to 48 months. One half of the interest paid will be refunded provided the loan is repaid under the agreed upon terms. Keep in mind that the department has the right to take legal action to collect delinquent loans. Contact your local veteran service officer to apply. The purpose of the Hardship Assistance Grant Program is to provide money to veterans and their spouses for health and housing needs. Unremarried widows or widowers of eligible veterans may also apply. The grant is awarded for the following unmet needs, dental and or denture work. However, routine and maintenance procedures are not covered. Optical, hearing, transportation for medical treatment and other special needs for medical reasons would also be covered by the grant. Housing deposits and other emergency needs can be approved by the Commissioner of Veterans Affairs. To be eligible, you must qualify as a veteran or eligible dependent and be a North Dakota resident for one year prior to application. There are income and asset levels that are reviewed annually. You must submit all medical bills showing all work completed and all payments and credits must be received by the department within 60 to 90 days of the date of approval for the grant.
North Dakota veterans suffering from PTSD can get a grant to help afford a service dog. The dogs are trained to address the special needs of the veteran they are to serve. This can be anything from calming anxiety attacks to providing comfort and assurance in public settings, or even waking a veteran from a nightmare. To be eligible, you must be a North Dakota resident, have a diagnosis of PTSD, and be engaged in counseling or therapy, and have a doctor's recommendation for a PTSD service dog. All qualified veterans are urged to apply. If you are an honorably discharged veteran with a VA disability rating of at least 50%, you are eligible for a property tax exemption. The amount of the deduction increases based on the disability rating percentage. An unremarried surviving spouse is also eligible. The homestead can include a house, the land the house is on, as well as other buildings on the same land. If a qualified veteran moves to a different homestead, the credit can be applied to the new property. You must also have an honorable discharge and reside on the property you plan to apply the deduction to. If two disabled veterans are married and live together, the combined credits may not exceed 100% of the maximum deduction on the homestead. Surviving spouses that are receiving DIC are eligible to receive the deduction as well. To apply for the disabled veterans property tax credit, you will need to submit the application and supporting documents to your local tax assessor by February 1st. You will need a DD-214 and a summary of benefits letter. Annual refiling is often required. We recommend that you consult with your local tax assessor for detailed requirements regarding these exemptions. North Dakota veterans get preference in hiring for state employment. The veterans generally receive a five-point preference on their application for a position. Disabled veterans receive a 10-point preference. The spouse of a 100% disabled veteran and the surviving spouse of a deceased veteran would also be eligible to receive hiring preference points. North Dakota offers a wide variety of educational benefits to resident veterans and their dependents. It is important to note that state educational benefits can often be used in conjunction with the national educational benefits, such as the DEA program. If you're interested in learning more about the DEA program, check out our national benefits video. Veterans Educational Training is a free program of study funded by the state of North Dakota to prepare honorably discharged veterans for a certification program or a two or four year college degree. The program provides refresher training as well as training in English, computers, math, and study skills. Contact your local VSO for more information and to learn about the application process. If you're the dependent of a North Dakota veteran who was killed, is totally disabled, or declared missing in action, you may attend a university system institution without paying tuition or fees for up to 45 months. To be eligible, you must be accepted for enrollment by a university system campus. For detailed information, contact the Financial Aid Office or Veterans Service Department on the campus of your choice. We have a link to the participating campuses on our website. If you are a member in good standing with the North Dakota National Guard, up to 35% of your tuition costs may be waived at certain state institutions. Contact the institution you plan to attend to discuss the eligibility requirements to receive this waiver. North Dakota veterans with a 50% or greater VA disability rating and former POWs are eligible for a free annual state park permit. All other North Dakota veterans with service-related disabilities are eligible to receive an annual permit for $28. You will need a summary of benefits letter and a DD-214 as proof of rating and service. A completed application and supporting documents can be sent to the North Dakota Parks and Recreation Department in Bismarck. Approved applicants will receive a lifetime North Dakota State Park and Recreation Entrance Permit card. This card allows you and those in your vehicle entrance into a North Dakota State Park and Recreation Area. One hundred percent disabled resident veterans can get a combined general game, habitat stamp, small game, and fur barrier license for three dollars. 
with an additional $1 fee to purchase the resident certificate. You can apply for the license online at the North Dakota Game and Fish website. The specialty license is listed under the miscellaneous licenses category. North Dakota resident veterans with a 50% or greater disability rating can get a fishing license for $5 plus a $1 fee to purchase the certificate. Again, this license can be applied for online. Upon presentation of valid leave papers and a valid North Dakota operator's license, a resident who is on leave and a member of the armed forces or a merchant marine may hunt small game, fish, or trap during the open season without a license. Thank you for joining me to discuss the ancillary benefits for disabled veterans. Check the description box below for helpful links and to access other helpful tools on our website.